Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dave here with Go Gamers, and today we're going to be looking at this PS4 Fat Model console with heavy water damage. So let's go to the upper cam and see what's going on. So we had a customer that brought us this PS4. He brought us this PS4, and he said, "Hey, I have a game console." and it's not updating um he said well he said it updated and after that updated he couldn't log into his profile anymore so i'm like that's weird i never heard of that that sounds like a sony issue or maybe you just forgot your login information well he still dropped it off anyway so i was like okay let me just get in here i was thinking more than likely he forgot his login and i opened it up just to see what was going on well as you guys can see from right here this is why it's not updating. There's heavy water damage. So I cut it on. And it's really not updating. And I don't know what he was talking about when he said, oh, I could go to the profile, whatnot. But the Blu-ray drive is not working at all. What's going on is more than likely what happened when this guy hit with that heavy, heavy water damage. It actually fried out some fuses on his PCB board so that is a process within itself so what i want to do is i actually want to fully clean off all this water damage first before i actually look down at that pcb board to see what's going on hopefully it's just a simple fuse if not worse coming to worse we're going to have to remarry the renaissance chip onto another pcb board but let's get into it let's see what's going on i'm still surprised actually how is this power supply still working the power supply should have been hit heavy with this liquid damage so i don't know how this console is still even surviving this is crazy i ended up putting in a chassis from a donor ps4 and then i end up putting on a case from a donor ps4 so we got that on but there was a couple things that i was looking at and i want to show you guys before i swap them out um let's look at this ribbon cable that was on the blu-ray drive so let's see um let me adjust the light a little bit because it's a little bit too bright so i dimmed the light down just a little bit you can see that it's corroded from that water damage now um what i'm going to do is i'm going to throw that away um i'm also going to throw away the power cord as well because i don't trust it after seeing what that ribbon cable looked like so i got another power cable another um ribbon as well that we're going to pop in here um because i'd rather be better safe than sorry than put in another they try to clean that one up and put it back in here then it ends up causing damage again it ends up destroying whatever i have to repair on here so let's see all right now what i hope is i hope this actual blu-ray drive itself actually still works after going through that crazy water damage once again i still don't know how this psu survived but what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this pcb board under the microscope and want to see what's going on with it so another thing i forgot to mention as well is when i took the um, ps4 down to the motherboard i did wind up replacing well not replacing but ended up putting the motherboard in a tub full of IPA just to make sure it was fully cleaned and um, that motherboard itself wouldn't have any issues. So look at this PCB board. Now, this is crazy. You can see where that water hit. It hit over here right where your F203 fuse is. And hold on wait a minute let's pull this up ha 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 look at that that leg is covered in corrosion so before i even get a reading on this stuff i want to go on ahead and clean it up with my toothbrush and some ipa as you can see we can actually see that leg now um beforehand we could not see that leg um and let's see how 
it passes. Surprisingly, it's still soldered down correctly and not lifted. Now, you can see that R270 fuse, which is realistically your F203 fuse, is gone. And that's typically what shoots out first on these PCB boards, especially when it comes down to water damage. Now, I'm trying to look, get a good look at this STM8. A zero chip to see what's going on all right so let's take our multimeter and let's get a reading on this f203 fuse to see what we get oh wow it works we'll get a reading on this cap and see if we could pull in any sort of voltage to this thing at all All right, so we're actually pulling in something through that as well. Um, check the five beef um, fuse. That component is actually testing good as well. <clears throat> so I grabbed a BDP 010 PCB, even though it's a different model. All these components shall work. And I'm actually just going to read the continuity between them before I even take anything off. Just to verify that everything is good, which everything should be good because this came from a um, working PS4. So let's double check. Everything is getting um, good reading. So now we're just going to go ahead and take off these three components and move them over to our um, other PCB board. All right. So I got my heat wand on, got my fume extractor on, and got it next to these components. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my trusty tweezers and my heat wand on the other hand and just one by one pull off these components All right, so we got all three components off. Now let's move back over to our main PCB board. Take off those three water damaged components and pop a little bit of flux on there and see what we can do.
All right, all three bad components have been removed. And now we're going to pop on our new ones. So I'm just going to pop a tiny little bit more of flux on here just to make sure everything can flow into place. Heat up the pads first. So they're both flowing. F203 fuse has been successfully replaced. Now let's move on to our other two components. All right, so now let's do our F201 fuse. All three components has been successfully replaced. Let's turn off our fume extraction. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up just a little bit with my toothbrush and IPA. All right, so everything has been successfully cleaned up. Looking 10 times better. And now it's time for the moment of truth to see if that got it working. If not, worse come to worse, <laughs> we'll have to just replace that um, Renaissance ship on another PCB. Took in the disc. It worked. So next things next now what we're going to have to do is actually um just going ahead and just replace this entire um blu-ray drive because um, i'm continuously having problems with the rollers and i am not trying to risk messing around with it and i kind of heard the blu-ray laser struggling just a tad bit and i really don't want to risk that onto that customer so i'm just going to turn this off and now just going ahead and replace this um blu-ray drive now that our pcb board is good all right, so went on ahead and just put a new drive in there. Let's go on ahead and test out the insert. Took in the disc good. It's spinning it. All right, so we're at the PSOS screen. Let's log in and see if it's reading this game correctly. All right, so looks like everything is working great. I don't even need to fully load into the game. So we have a fully functioning PS4 game console, and everything seems to be working right on it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This was a repair on a water-damaged PS4 game console. If you guys want to see more content like this, just make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And also comment down below on what you want to see next repair. And then I'll make sure I'll get around to it. But besides that, thanks a lot, guys. And you guys have a good night.